Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're sharing a very intense and emotional case from our NICU. A tiny newborn struggling to breathe due to respiratory distress syndrome, or RDS. RDS is a serious condition that mostly affects premature babies, where their lungs are not fully developed and they don't produce enough surfactant. Surfactant is crucial because it keeps the tiny air sacs in the lungs open, allowing the baby to breathe properly. Without it, babies can struggle for every breath. In this video, you will see how quick assessment, prompt intervention, and the expertise of our doctors saved this baby's life. We'll explain every step, from the moment the baby was admitted to the NICU to the treatment and monitoring process, so you understand the urgency and the methods used in such emergencies. The baby arrived at the NICU shortly after birth, showing rapid breathing, chest retractions, and low oxygen saturation levels. These are classic signs of RDS. The doctors and nurses acted immediately, performing a thorough assessment, including checking vital signs, heart rate, respiratory rate, and oxygen saturation, observing physical signs of distress, grunting, flaring nostrils, retractions, assessing color and activity level. The NICU team quickly decided on respiratory support because every second counts in RDS cases. This first stage is critical. A slight delay could lead to serious complications like pneumothorax or organ failure, especially in preterm babies. The quick thinking and coordination of the NICU staff were essential to stabilize the baby before moving to advanced interventions. Now, let's take a closer look at respiratory distress syndrome. RDS occurs mainly in premature babies, typically those born before 34 weeks of gestation, because their lungs are immature. The alveoli, which are tiny air sacs in the lungs, need surfactant to stay open. Without enough surfactant, the alveoli collapse with each breath, breath causing difficulty in oxygen intake and carbon dioxide removal. Symptoms of RDS include fast breathing, tachypnea, a grunting sounds while exhaling, flaring nostrils, a retractions, pulling in of skin around the ribs, a cyanosis, bluish color of lips and skin. Treatment must start immediately. One, respiratory support, CPAP or mechanical ventilation. Two, surfactant therapy, administered directly into the lungs. Three, oxygen therapy to maintain safe saturation levels. Four, close monitoring, continuous assessment of vital signs and blood gases. RDS is a medical emergency, and even though many cases respond well to treatment, time is critical. This is why having experienced doctors and nurses in the NICU can literally mean the difference between life and death for these tiny patients. In this case, the baby's breathing was getting worse despite CPAP support. The doctors decided it was time for surfactant administration. Here's what happened. The baby was carefully positioned in the incubator. The tube was gently inserted into the windpipe, trachea. The surfactant medicine was administered directly into the lungs. This procedure is delicate and must be done with precision because any error could harm the baby's fragile lungs. Immediately after surfactant delivery, the baby showed improvement in oxygen levels and a decrease in breathing effort. Simultaneously, the NICU team monitored the baby's vital signs every few minutes. Oxygen saturation improved, and the baby's color started returning to normal. Nurses continuously reassured the baby and maintained a warm environment in the incubator, which is crucial for premature babies as they lose heat quickly. The doctor's prompt action and teamwork stabilized the baby. This segment highlights the importance of experience, speed, and coordination in emergency neonatal care. After the emergency intervention, the baby was moved to full monitoring in the NICU. The doctors continued to track. This case highlights the importance of neonatal care, teamwork, and advanced medical interventions. We hope this video helped you understand what RDS is, how serious it can be, and how doctors respond to such emergencies. Every NICU doctor's quick decision can make a life-saving difference. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to support our channel. And remember, every premature baby deserves the best care, and timely medical attention can save lives. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more real-life NICU stories 